Hi Floppy Catters! Today I wanted to do a video of the Litter Robot 3's. I love the blue light so I wanted to show that off. Let's see if the bisque one turns on. It did. We have two Litter Robot 3's and this one I've had almost four years and this one is coming up on a year of having it and I thought if you're searching for videos on YouTube of, or on Facebook of problems people have had with their litter robots because you're considering buying a litter robot and you want to know what the potential risk factors are, I thought that this video might be helpful for you. So in the four years that we've had the bisque one and almost one year of the gray one, I will share with you in this video the things that have happened to them or with them or whatever. As you can see, the bisque one is not a connect one. It has no Wi-Fi, and the gray one does have connect. Uh, and I have an iPhone and never had a problem setting that up. I have heard Android users have had problems with the Wi-Fi connection with the app. So I'm not sure if that's been straightened out, but that has not been a problem with uh, for us because I'm an iPhone user. Another problem that happens with our Little Robot 3, not very often though, mm, man, I would say every six or eight months, this will happen. This is actually a double clump, which means that one of my cats went in and peed and then the other one went and peed on top of it. So it's a big clump. You can see that the litter robot says ready. So for some reason, the last time that cycled, it did not fall down in the waste drawer. And we'll see if we can find out why. So you just press cycle on the unit itself, as long as it says it's ready, which is that blue light. Then we will see why it didn't go through. This can happen too, you know, I mean, it depends on the cat's size, the size of the cat, depends on the cat's diet. Um, a wet food eater, for example, is gonna have larger pea clumps than a dry food. See, it went through that time. So for some reason, the last time it cycled, it didn't go through and I'm not sure why. Anyway, a dry food eater isn't gonna have as big of pea clumps. A cat in renal failure is going to have big pea clumps. A diabetic cat is gonna have big pea clumps. So that's when you need to kind of pay attention to, you know, the size of the pea clumps. And that will cycle back around and it'll be ready. So as you can see, this isn't that big of a problem. It's a problem, but not that big of a problem. The reason why it's not that big of a problem is because this would have cycled without me ever seeing it if the cats had used it again. So more than likely that pea clump would have dropped below when they came back to use it for pooping or peeing again. So it would have been fine. While it's a little bit of a problem, it didn't operate perfectly the last time the cats went. It did do, it's done its job now and it would have done its job had I not manually pushed the button to cycle it. And soon enough, it'll be ready for the next use. Another problem that we've had with the LR3 is actually a problem that I created not knowing how important it was to fill the litter robot to the litter level and not any higher. And sometimes even the litter level is too high, uh, depending on the weight of the litter. So this is our gray one. This is the one that has the Wi-Fi. I just got a notification on my phone that there is a problem with it cycling because there's an app with the Wi-Fi that tells me anything that's going on with it. So this is the Little Robot Connect. This one wouldn't tell me that because it's not on Wi-Fi. So, you can see that it's saying cycling with a blinking yellow light. So what happened here and what I created on purpose because I did this three or four years ago with this one, not knowing what I had done, is I overfilled the litter 
in the litter robot and this is what happens. It doesn't, I don't know what happens mechanically or what happens within the machine, but basically it's too much litter and it doesn't sense it properly. So that's something else to consider. We use Dr. Elsie's Precious Cat Ultra, which I'll link to in the about section below, but certain litters are heavier. Obviously a clay clumping litter is going to be heavier than like a corn clumping litter. So you have to be careful on not overfilling it. So to alleviate this problem, I usually just take a scoop or two out of it. And actually right now you can see the litter level line pretty well. Couldn't show it to you before because obviously it was covered but when it's flat, you can really tell. And so now obviously the litter level is at a happy place because the litter robot started cycling again automatically. Nope, it's not at a happy place because it's not fully cycling. So I also just got another uh, notification from the app that it's been interrupted. So I'll remove more litter. I went ahead and hit the reset button just to see where we are with the whole thing and then what i'll do is cycle it on through after that man i am right at that line you see how there's that line that's a litter of fill line but on this side it's completely covered so i might just take out another like half a scoop i had no idea i overfilled it this much that's what you do when you make videos all right, and then I'm just going to hit cycle because it didn't sense that anything heavy was in there. All right. And if it cycles all the way through without a problem, then you're good to go after like the cats use it or whatever, or the cats can use it normally. If it cycles after you've overfilled it, removed the additional litter. Because of that experience, I have not overfilled it sense and I've never had this problem other than the self-created one to show you what happens when you do do that for this video. So once you get the hang of it, it really shouldn't be a, a reoccurring problem. And if you're watching this video and looking for a litter robot problem before you buy it, hopefully you'll never have this problem because you knew about it before you bought one. All right, folks, it did a full cycle, which means we're ready to rock and roll. And actually now you can see the litter level line all the way around. It's a little bit lower on this side, but right on that side, it's harder to see in the gray one, but you can see that it's right at that level. And I think it might be time to clean too. You just came to see what's going on. Why is that thing cycling so much? Who's pooping that much? Yeah, hi, lay you. Although I didn't have a huge problem introducing my cats to the litter robot, it is a problem that many people have because they don't follow the instructions given to them by the litter robot, which come in the box. So you can see that I've taken the gray one out of the box, allowed the cats to approach it. You really want the cats to use the litter robot three or four times, like go to the bathroom and it unplugged, unmoving to see that they recognize it as their litter box and talk to them as they approach it, touch them, tell them it's okay, make it an experience for them. I cannot stress enough how important it is to follow litter robots introduction instructions to the litter robot. The sound that the litter robot makes is hard on cats. So they have this quick start guide that shows you you know, how to set it up and everything, but there's also an instructional manual on how to introduce your cats to it. So the first thing you do is you take a scoop from their litter box and put it in the litter robot. Um, you can see that ours is on, but that was because our my cats were used to it. So you can also take the litter that has been used in the current litter box and put it in the litter robot because it smells like them. It smells like their feces, smells like their urine, even though it's been scooped, it still has their odors in it. And so they recognize it as their litter box. You can also put, if like we use this Dr. Elsie's Precious Cat Ultra, and then I'll mix in Cat Attract, which is supposed to attract cats to use a litter box with it. 
So if we're trying a new litter box, I'll mix the two together or I'll just put Cat Attract in there. So it's a good one to have on hand if you have clay litter and use Dr. Zell's, Dr. Elsie's Ultra. Once the cats have used the litter box a few times without it moving, then you want to turn it on and they're going to come and investigate to check it out. And then finally, you can use it hopefully on a normal basis if they'll continue to use it or you might need to restart from scratch, but it's super important that you let them use the litter robot before you ever turn it on in front of them, before they ever hear it. And then finally, you'll have freedom from scooping the litter box. The last problem that we experienced with the Litter Robot 3 was that the globe was off of the base and the bonnet was loose and the three blinking lights were on. So what I discovered was when I cleaned the Litter Robot, uh, there's a lubricant that goes around that helps the globe move around the base. And so when you clean that, then you get rid of the lubricant unknowingly. So you have to take furniture polish and put it back in that area so that there's lubricant for it to move properly around. And I got all the instructions I needed from Litter Robot. So I put that on and put it back on and then it finally was rotating without coming off of the base and being all catty wampus all the time. All right guys, that wraps up our Litter Robot 3 problem video. So if you're considering getting a Litter Robot 3 and wanted to know what kind of problems you might encounter, those are the only ones that I really encountered in the last three years, or four years actually now, believe it or not. And I really don't think that that's too bad with an electronic that is used around cats who are peeing in it and pooping in it and they're 13 and 14 pounds so it worked out it has worked out great for us please let me know if you have any questions in the about section or in the comment section below in the about section i will include a link to where you can buy the litter robot 3 as well as our affiliate link which will give you 25 dollars off the purchase of one thanks so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and we'll see you next time <laughs>